During my recent trip to China, I had the opportunity to visit a co-living and co-working project hidden in the tea plantation mountains of Anji. For those who is unfamiliar with Anji, so this is China. This is Shanghai. Between Shanghai and Hangzhou, is my hometown, Jiaxing. Then drive two hours, we will reach Anji. We can even stop by Fan Fan's hometown, Huzhou, in the middle. Anji is a place known for its white tea. The project we are visiting called DNA Digital Nomad Community. It's located in the tea plantation mountains. Not only does it provide a comfortable living and working environment, it also offers meeting rooms, a communal kitchen, a fitness area, and an impressive library. Additionally, there is a designated design and printing center, as well as a venue where tea-related and eco-friendly products are showcased. It has not just one, but three cafes inside of the community for your preference, <laughs> and a hundred years old tree to hug, freshest air to breathe. Welcome to our cozy and stylish retreat. This hotel is called Shu Xia Xiao Bai Wu, White Hut Under the Tree, which is also a part of the community. Little did we know we would meet two extraordinary and familiar souls here again, who were once guests at our farm. Meet Fun, a talented designer and artist, and Summer, a skilled yoga tutor. They are known as a nomad couple on Chinese social media. They've been on a nomadic living and working journey for the past three years, from exploring the lush depths of the Amazon jungle to embracing the freedom of van life in Mexico. We were so excited to visit this co-living and co-working project with the nomad couple and our local guide Bai Li, who's been living here for the past three months. DNA Digital Nomad Community is redesigned from an old wood and bamboo making factory, has its blend of rustic charm and industrial aesthetics. It is not hard to understand why there is a growing number of young Chinese individuals are embracing a life beyond the bustling cities, opting for the tranquility of the suburbs or even the countryside. Monthly living expenses here start as low as 2,000 yuan, a fraction of what one would spend in a city like Shanghai. And let's not forget the improved quality of life that comes with it. <laughs> My farm shares the same vision as DNA. After working and living from countless cafes, restaurants, guest houses, I want to build a place for people like me. Who no longer wants to work from a box, but by the mountains, among the animals, in the field. Him to be done with four designs by this Friday. I want to gather like-minded people to live and create together, to get our hands and feet dirty, get our mind clean. Now allow me to give you a picture of the co-living and co-creating space we're gonna build. Yes, I use the word creating instead of working because I believe humans are created to create, not just work. This building is going to be built in the center of our farm, with four bedrooms to live, cafe and farm-to-table restaurant, huge space for members to work and enjoy activities together, and a rooftop with majestic mountain views. It is a building that designed not to isolate, trap, but to free. Connect us with other human beings, animals, nature. Inspire us to create more together. <laughs>